All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to my Super Mario 3D World playthrough. Uh, as you know, uh, for those that are very much new to my channel as of this time in recording, uh, I actually got a capture card recently, so now I can actually record a console gameplay. And I thought, what better way to play a game and show it off uh, with regards to my capture card, as well as just recording for you guys, than with Super Mario 3D World. Uh, we're obviously playing the Bowser's Fury Edition, which we'll probably play this after we do the, uh, the 3D World aspect, but... That's uh that's what we're doing here today. And I'm looking forward to it big time because I've been wanting to play a good number of uh console games for a while, but I just didn't have the means to record it, at least an affordable one. But now we do, and we're getting started today, so let's do a new game. Uh we'll start with Mario. We're gonna try to I'll try to switch it up with the characters as we go along, but I think we'll I think we'll do all right. So we got some fireworks going on here. Not too shabby. Got some festivities going on. Got Luigi, Mario, the princess who's oddly not captured right now, and Toad. Oh, did you look at that? A clear pipe. Now they're just doing their plumber shenanigans, and there we have it. Oh. Why don't you look at that? Apologies for any kind of background noise. I'm still trying to adjust audio and stuff, but as you see here, we got a... It appears to be a fairy, but it's actually a Sprixie. And Bowser's here to have a wonderful time. Well, so much for that fairy being free. Seems like he's collecting some good old fairies. Probably do some bad things. And look at that. Peach is the first one to jump into the pipe with. Don't you look at that? And Luigi he needed to slap himself there. Get himself, like, going, like, oh man, this isn't a dream. We're actually doing this. But here we go. We're going to. Some other distant land that appears. And we have landed. Well, that didn't take very long. Alright. So we have a little bit of an overworld here. We can run around with it, can jump, and hit these blocks, get a coin. But aside from that, there's uh, not much not much you really have to do. There's no sort of platform you gotta do out here. It's normally just a means to navigate around. But let's start with our first level. Super Bell Hill. And yeah, obviously I'm not joined by anyone. I'm just kind of playing by myself here. But here we go. Let's get started. Got this Goomba up here, but let's set these blocks up. Alright, there we go. Yo, what's up, Goomba? See ya, buddy. Got this crab down here. Hey, what's up, little ball? I just wanted to say hi to him, that's all. And they just leave me alone like that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. What do we got up here? Hey. Okay. Now, I know there's... I'm going to be trying to uh, go for All-Stars, just to let everyone uh, know that this is probably going to be an All-Stars run, All-Stamps run. Well, I say All-Stamps, but what I mean is I'm not going for the ones that I think, if memory serves right, you have to play as every different character. And, uh, listen, I'm not about to do that <laughs> for every stage. Okay, I'll play as one character. We won't go that out of our way with regards to completion. So I see we have a goal there. We got a got a nice bell. Thanks for another set of eyes there, Sprixy. And hey, look, another green star. So obviously like with Super Mario World, you know, back of the Super Nintendo, you can hold another item as that was kind of where it was introduced for backup. 
Which ain't too bad at all. Hey, what's up there, bunny? No, 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 no. Set you up, though. Hey. Got some more time to do some more exploring. You don't want to hit that pipe, though, when you're big. You want to leave that, uh, you want to leave that be. Oh, I thought maybe, uh... I thought maybe we would just transform into uh, Cat Mario, as that's the new power-up for this game. Yeah, I feel I feel like I'm not introducing all the mechanics in, in discussing them here with you guys. I guess my brain's kind of like a little bit on the slow side of things, but oh well. Let's see if we got some blocks down here. What do we got? Ooh, a one-up. Okay. So let's head back into this pipe here. And look at that, we got our first stamp. Let's hit it up. Alright. Not bad at all. And I will say, uh, I'm just gonna say this now, uh, the music for Super Mario 3D World, absolutely incredible. I love it to death. It's great stuff all around. I think saxophone or just smooth jazz all around fits Mario very well. And that's the end of the level. Oh yeah. Not bad at all. Got our first level done and out of the way. Uh, to also kind of uh, say this now, the, the first recording session of 3D World is going to be a little small because I don't know how well the capture card will fare with regards to long recordings and how big the file size is going to be. So we're going to try to, we're going to play it safe for now with the first recording session, but uh, with later ones, we're definitely going to definitely go uh, And let's go ahead and play as Luigi this time. We're going to Koopa Troopa Cave Grove? What's it called? Koopa Troopa Cave, okay. And just as a heads up, for those that have never played Super Mario 3D World, every character does play slightly differently uh, between each other. Just to give you an idea, Mario plays is about as typical as what you'd expect with regards to the jump man. He does pretty much play and control relatively smoothly. Luigi is a little more slippery on his feet, but does have a higher jump. And that could be good with regards to just getting around and platforming. Uh, but he is a little slippery. I don't know if I said that. I feel like, oh, I'm bad. Um, but yeah, that's Luigi. Peach ha is relatively on the slower side. I think out of all of the present characters right now, she is on the slower side of things. But she does have a little bit of a glide. Can definitely help uh, make some rather tricky jumps or to kind of save yourself from impending doom. I feel like I'm literally about to get whacked by this goddamn... Uh, Green shell. Okay, thank you. I'd rather not get, like, completely... Aw, oh, dude, you're serious. Oh, so much for that. Anything in this? Oh, one up. Oh, boy. I, I gotta get out of here. I gotta dip. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead here and mosey our way through these cloud platforms. Yeah, I will say, I did do, so when I played Super Mario 3D World, I played as Luigi for a majority of it. Um, because I actually do think his extra jump can lend itself to getting some of the stars that require a bit more platforming finesse to be a bit easier. And I think Luigi just does a good job being able to do that. Peach is also not a bad option. And, uh, I think the last character, <laughs> I think I honestly forgot to mention was... Uh, Toad. Toad is basically the fastest character out of everyone, but he has the shittiest jump uh, to compensate for that, so you got a number of options. And we'll definitely show them off when that time comes. I swear to god, I, <laughs> I do a lot of interesting maneuvers and techniques in very unexpected situations, but thankfully, thankfully we were able to manage it just fine. What's up, Goomba? See ya. I kind of didn't want to pick up that Firefly. I wanted to hold on to my cap power up a little bit, not gonna lie. Can we get... Ooh, dude, I'm really good. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Let's freaking... Let's do some hoppity hops. And fail at doing the hoppity hops. There we go. 
got a good number of coins and a gold pipe. Let's grab these coins before we do anything first. Or Luigi can just slip right, right off it like an absolute man. Oh, come on, I can do this. No. Come on now. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Uh-oh. Hey. I didn't get hit. It's pretty good. And we got a boatload of coins. And obviously, for those that have played Mario games uh, pretty much their whole lives, the infinite lives trick is still very much a thing you can do in this game. I'm not going to do it. Uh, but I mean, it is, let's just say it's definitely doable. All right. Ooh, hold up. We got to go back. Hold up. I forgot about this. Yeah, hopefully we don't play the forgetful game too much. The stamps, if I were to comment on with regards to uh, doing completing for this game, the stamp collecting can honestly be, in my personal experience, one of the trickier aspects. And there's our third green star, which is pretty good. All right, we're out of here. We're dipping. But yeah, the, the stamps can be relatively in very well hidden spots at points. Yeah, here's Goomba. Let's hope we can make the top of the flagpole. Yeah, to unlock everything in the game, you need to collect every stamp in the state, or in every level. You need to snag every green star, and you gotta reach the top of the flagpole. You gotta do that for every level in the game. And that's what we plan to do. No ifs, ands, or buts. We're doing it. But there we go. We got six green stars. So that's pretty good. Got Toad House. We got, uh, we got a Charging Chuck. A little bit of a fight up ahead. I ain't too shabby. Let's set up this Toad House here. Let's see what we can get. Welcome to a Toad House. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. You bet, Toad. Let's grab for the small one. Hey, we can always appreciate that. I guess it's Nintendo's way of saying, hey, don't be greedy. Don't go for the big boxes. Go for the small ones. They house the good stuff. Granted, it's probably just a 50-50 chance. And that, and I just got lucky with that one. So we got some charging chucks here. Let's go ahead and uh, give them a little bop of the schnoz. And there we go. I did not switch out my character for this, but that's okay. We're all good. We got another course clear. Beautiful. Alright. Another green star to add to our total. Alright. For this one, let's play as Peach. Let's show off Peach a little bit here. Alright, here we go. Let's take a look around here. Not seeing anything right now. I think we're doing pretty alright. We got quite the we got quite the thing to climb up. I know it may seem kind of obvious with regards to seeing these uh, stamps in plain sight, but rest assured you or rest assured that they can very much be in relatively interesting spots, so. Definitely keep your eyes peeled. That's all I can really uh, give you with regards to advice. Granted, I'm going to show off everything. And I think the way I'm going to approach it is, if we end up missing something along the way, you know, it's not it's not like hitting the right spots with regards to me being able to find it. I think what I'll end up doing is when we kind of finish the main adventure, uh, we'll go back to previous levels that housed... Uh, these collectibles, and I think I'll cut to when, uh, when I end up finding the various, uh, missing collectibles within whatever level it, uh, I missed them, you know? I feel like I kind of complicated my way of saying that, but basically if I miss something, we'll get it after we complete the main adventure. <laughs> yeah, to put it in more lighter terms. These Goombas think they're gonna swipe me, bro. It's, it's not gonna happen. Well, let's get another cat power up. 
What we got here? Another pow block, not bad. But yeah, no, I think um, 3D World, it's odd. I think um, 3D World is honestly a really stellar game. Like obviously it's like a sequel to 3D Land on a 3DS, but I think 3D World definitely differentiates itself from the 3DS title in a good number of ways that I think really make it, uh, makes it stand out. It's a lot of fun. And if you got friends to play with, absolutely do it. It'll be chaotic as all hell, but I think you'll have a good time. I'm gonna cloud right here. It's like a happy, smiley, go lucky cloud. Yeah, these these little segments, you basically get a star man and just go nuts, honestly. Just absolutely send it. And just like that, we got everything. We got 69 coins, alright. Nice. Got that big old piranha plant over there. Yeah, piranha plants in this game aren't as uh aren't as spooky as some of the earlier 3D Mario games. You can honestly just go up and just boop them on the schnoz like nothing. Don't even have to worry about getting hit. Okay. And there we go. Not too bad. So what stamp or did we get? We got a cat Goomba. All right. 